everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi my name is Mia welcome I do lots of beauty videos here on my channel so today I am just going to do a really quick little video and it's going to be kind of like a verse which one is better type of video and I'm thinking about doing quick little videos on my channel every couple of weeks or maybe once a week if I can find things to compare just really quick little videos that will probably take me 10 minutes to film and I can edit down to about three or four minutes so that way it's not much editing to do lately I have been struggling a bit to get back in the swing of things with YouTube as you guys know why plus I have some other personal reasons as well and I just haven't been doing the greatest as you can see my makeup looks very glam and full on today and that is because I did a Disney Snow White inspired look over on my friend's Facebook page so yeah it was really really fun and I like how it turned out so anyway enough rambling if you guys want to see uh, what products I'm going to show you today and test out on my face then stay tuned and if you guys like the idea of quick little videos comparing one product to another then definitely give me a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments below let's go I thought I would test out two really popular powders today and they are the Coty Airspun and the RCMA No Color Powder. Now I own both of these. The first one I got was the RCMA No Color Powder and then the second one I got was the Airspun. So the RCMA is the first one I got. I bought this one from Beautylish online. I will leave the price on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head. And I got the Coty Airspun from Crush Cosmetics and this was about $18 I believe. So first of all let's have a look at packaging. So this is what the RCMA No Color Powder looks like. In here you get three ounces and this one just claims that it is a perfect universal setting powder for all skin types. No color powder contains no pigment, no perfume, no fillers and will never alter your foundation and shade or natural skin tone. It will set your makeup with a flawless finish that won't cause flashback. And then you just pop open the top and it has like these little holes. Mine is dirty because I have used it a few times. Or you can just screw off the whole lid and dip your beauty blender in there. Packaging here, it is in this like little round jar and it just says Cody Airspun original formula since 1935 and this one contains 2.3 ounces so you actually get more in this one. Uh, this one comes in a few different shades but from Crush Cosmetics they only have translucent or translucent extra coverage. I got translucent extra coverage because that's the one that everyone raves about. But I kind of wish I would have got translucent. So this one was more pale. Like this one. So when you open the Cody Airspun it just has these little holes. If you wanted to I guess you could take out this little part here. And just dip your um, brush in there. This one did come with a powder puff. It was very very fluffy. I don't have it anymore. I just use this one which is from Thin Lizzy. It's really soft and I love it. Okay so what I'm going to do is put the Cody Airspun on this side of my face and the RCMA on this side of my face and then we are going to bake with them and just have a look at what they look like on the skin. We're going to leave it for about three to five minutes and then I'm going to brush off each side and then see if any leaves a white cast, uh, which one looks more natural, which one's more brightening, etc. So I'm just going to use my powder puff. So I forgot to mention the RCMA has no scent whereas the Cody Airspun is fragranced. And we're going to put quite a lot of this on guys just so I can really show you the difference. Okay, and then flipping over the puff, I am going to go in with the RCMA powder on this side. Uh, 
Okay, so let's compare. So on this side here, and I'm sorry guys, I have some uh, a really bad rash here and here, so sorry about that. So let's compare. So this side here looks like a nice skin color. It is slightly white, but it's not too white. This side here is a lot more white, as you can see. Um, so I feel like this is going to leave a white cast, but we will see. So we're just going to leave it here for about three minutes and then I will come right back and brush off this bake. Okay guys, so it has been about five minutes. So first I'm going to brush off this Cody Airspun side. So as you can see, it brushed off nice and easy. It definitely tidied up my contour and it hasn't really left a white cast. So let's go over to this side. So as you can see, that has left a really full on white cast, but that's okay. We'll just keep blending it out. Okay, so as you can see, this one is definitely more white than this side for sure. I definitely like the Cody Air Spun side a little bit better. I just feel like it looks more natural compared to this side and a lot less white. They're both pretty good, but honestly, I guess it depends on which one you can get your hands on. This is very accessible to us Aussies because this is sold on Crush Cosmetics. And honestly, I have had this one for months and months and it doesn't even look like I've used any. And same with this one. I don't use this one as often though because of the white cast, but you do get slightly more product in here than this one. This is 2.3 ounces and this one's three ounces. So yeah, I guess it just is a personal preference. Maybe get both to try them out. They're both really inexpensive. So that was my quick little comparison video. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Bye. It's like verse... I will put the, what's it called? It's not Beauty Bay. It's the other one. And then definitely give me a big thumb.